اهلا بيكم طالبات وطلاب جريد 1 بريب مع بعض هنبدا حلقه جديده ودرس جديد في الماث تحت رعايه واشراف وزاره التربيه والتعليم خليني افكركم باللي درسناه في الحلقات السابقه اتكلمنا عن ادينج اند سبتراكتنج راشونال نمبرز وقسمنا درسنا الانتجرز فراكشنز اند ميكسد نمبرز وقلنا لما يكون عندنا انتجرز when we have the same sign put it as it is then add When we have different signs, put the sign of bigger than subtract. وبعد كده تكلمنا عن ال fractions. We have two cases: same denominator or different denominators. وقلنا في different denominators we can convert one to the other or make cross multiplication according to the least common multiple for the denominators. وكمان بعد كده تكلمنا عن mixed numbers. وقلنا we can write it as an improper fraction by multiplying the denominator times the whole and then add the numerator then do what we did exactly on the fractions ونهاردة هنتكلم عن درس جديد وهو multiplying rational numbers so let's start it multiplying rational numbers As usual, we are gonna divide the lesson to multiply integers. Well, integers we have positive numbers, zero, and negative numbers. Multiplying integers rules. وهنا هنعرف ال ال signs when we have the same sign, the product will be positive. So, for example. Positive times positive is positive. The second one, negative times negative is positive. Here we have the same sign. Then, positive times negative is negative because we have different signs. And then, negative times positive is negative. And by the way, here we can use the Chinese face. Here, this one. So, when you multiply any two signs, will give us the third one. So, negative times negative is positive, negative times positive is negative, and so on. Then, example one: five times seven is thirty-five. And here we don't need to write positive five times positive seven because we know that before. Any positive number, we can write it without sign. Second one, negative two times four, which is negative eight, because we have different sign. The two is negative, the four is positive, so it's negative eight. The third one, seven times negative three. So here the seven is positive and three is negative, so the product is negative. Different sign. So it's negative twenty-one. We here need to put the sign the first, and then the product. The fourth one, negative four times negative five, which is positive twenty. Why? We here have the same sign. So here it is. It's twenty, positive twenty. Practice. Four times negative six. Let's talk about the sign first. Is it positive or negative? Four times negative six. We have different signs, so we have to put negative. Then multiply four times six. It's twenty-four. The second one. Negative five times eight. We have different signs, so it's negative. And then multiply five times eight, which is Forty, so it's negative forty. The third one, negative three times negative nine. Both of them have the same sign, so I'm gonna put positive. Then multiply three times nine is twenty-seven, so it's twenty-seven, and no need to write the positive sign. The fourth one, eight times two, which is sixteen. Here, positive sixteen. Then, the second part of today's lesson is multiplying fractions. So here we have 
if a over b and c over d are two rational numbers, then a over b times c over d is equal to a times c over b times d. So we have to multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators. Let's watch this video from EKB with each other. So easy to multiply fractions, even without a calculator. Click on the steps in order to know how. The first step is to multiply the numerators together. That will give us the numerator of the result. The second step is to multiply the denominators together. That will give us the denominator of the result. In case we have a mixed number like this example, just convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. Follow the same steps and multiply normally as there is no decimal point. In case we have a decimal number, like this example, convert the decimal number to a fraction and multiply normally. Don't forget to simplify the result. Like here, 6 over 8 can be simplified into 3 over 4. And we are done. Let's solve some exercises in the board. Example 1, 2 over 5 times 3 over 11. Here we have to multiply the numerators, 2 times 3 is 6, and then 5 times 11 is 55. Then we have to ask yourself, here we have 6 over 55, can we simplify, can we divide by the same number up and down? Is there a common factor between 6 and 5? Of course, no. So let's do the second one. 2 over 3 times 7 over 12. It's better to simplify before multiplying to get small numbers. Here we have, can we divide 2 and 3 by the same number? Or is there a common factor between 2 and 3? Of course, no. Between 7 and 12? No. Okay, let's have a look from the numerator, which is 2 and 12. Can we divide them by the same number? Yes, we can divide by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then 12 divided by 2 is 6. Here, 1 times 7 is 7, and 3 times 6 is 18. And then, 7 over 18, can I divide both of them by the same number? Of course, no, because 7 is a prime, and here we cannot divide 18 by 7. Okay, let's solve the third one. 5 over 6 times 8 over 10. Let's have a look. Here we have 5 and 6. We cannot divide them by the same number because we don't have the common factor between them. And here we have 8 over 10. Yes, we can divide them by 2. Okay, my question is, can I divide any number from up with any number from down? Yes. So we can divide 8 and 10, both of them by 2. Or it's up to you to divide 5 with 10 to divide them by 5. Which one is better for you? I think 5 and 8 will get small numbers. So I'm going to divide by 5. Here, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Then multiply the numerators at the top. 1 times 8 is 8. And 6 times 2 is 12. Is there a common factor between 8 and 12? Yes, we can divide both of them by 4. So here we have divide by 4 and divide by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 12 divided by 4 is 
3. So the product is 2 over 3. Then the fourth one. 4 over 7 times 7 over 9. I think here we have 7 up and down. So it's better for us to cancel them with each other by dividing by 7. So 7 divided by 7 is 1 and 7 divided by 7 is 1. Or immediately when we have the same number up and down, we can cancel both of them. So my product is 4 times 1 is 4 and then 1 times 9 is 9. In each problem, we have to ask ourselves about the common uh, factor between the product. Is there a common factor between 4 and 9? Can I divide 4 and 9 by the same number? Of course, no. Here, we can divide by 2, but 9, we cannot divide it by 2, and so on. So, let's have a look for the fifth one. Here, 6 over 13 times 5 over 6. I need you to think about it. First of all, think about the same number up and down. This one will be easier for us. Okay, do we have the same number up and down? Yes, we have 6 up and 6 down. So immediately we will cancel them with each other or divide by 6 up and down. So 6 divided by 6 is 1. And 6 divided by 6 is 1. Then start to multiply the numerators. 5 times 1 is 5. And 13 times 1 is 13. There is no common factor between 5 and 13, so that is the simplest form. What does it mean? We cannot divide both of them by the same number. We cannot simplify them more. Okay. Another one. 3 over 5 times 5 over 3. Super girl will answer it, or super boy. Here we have 3 up and down. Immediately cancel them with each other. Divide by 3 up and down. And also we have 5 up and down. So we can cancel them. Divide by 5 is 1. And divide by 5. So what about the product? It will be... 1. 1 over 1 is 1. No need to write 1 over 1. Another one. 2 times 4 over 13. What about the denominator of 2? This 2 actually it's over 1. So the denominator of it is 1. So we can multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators. Can I, can I simplify before multiplying here? No, because 2, we cannot divide it. 2 and 13, we cannot divide both of them by the same number. Here we have 8 over 13. 8 over 13 is in the simplest form because there is no common factor between 8 and 13. Another one. 6 times 5 over 6. This 6 is over? Yes, it's over 1. Then, do we have the same number up and down? Yes, we have 6 up and also we have 6 down. So immediately divide by 6 or cancel them with each other to give us 1. Then 1 times 5 is 5 and 1 times 1 is 1 and 5 over 1 is 5. By the way, we can read it as 5 over 1 or 5 out of 1 or 5 divided by 1, which is 5. So here we talked about fractions. Now let's talk about another one, which is mixed numbers. As we did in adding and subtracting, we have to convert this mixed number to be an improper fraction. But by multiplying the denominator by the whole, then add the numerator. So here we have 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. And put the same denominator, which is 5. The second one, it's already a fraction. 
2 over 3. Now, can I divide by the same number up and down? Can I simplify before multiplying? No, there is no common factor between 7 and 5 or 7 and 3. And the same for 2 and 3 or 2 and 5. So we have to multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators. 7 times 2 is 14. And 5 times 3 is 15. It's already in the simplest form because there is no common factor between 14 and 15. Another one. Both of them are mixed numbers. So we are going to rename or convert each one of them to be an improper fraction. So let's do the same. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16 over 5. We have to put the same denominator. Let's rename the second one. 7 times 4 is 28 plus 2 is 30. 30 over 7. Now, let's have a look. Up and down. Can I divide by the same number up and down? Can we simplify before multiplying? Do you know we have to simplify before multiplying? Why? To get small numbers. Here we have 5 and 30. So I can divide by 5 up and down. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 30 divided by 5 is 6. Then we need to multiply 16 and 6. Then 1 times 7. Here we have 16 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Carry the 3 up. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. So it's 96 over 1 times 7 is 7. Now, we are in grade 1 prep. We can simplify it more. We can write it as mixed number. Why? Because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So we can make long division. 96 divided by 7. Here we have 9 divided by 7 is 1. Then 1 times 7 is 7. Then subtract 9 minus 7 is 2. Then bring down the 6. Then repeat the steps again. 26 divided by 7 is 3. 3 times 7 is 21. Then subtract them. The remainder is 5. How can I write it as a mixed number? First, we have to put the same denominator. The 7 as it is immediate. I have two numbers. 5. And 13. This one is down. We are going to write it up. So here we have 5. And this is our quotient. So put it as a whole number. So the answer or the product is 13 and 5 over 7. And let me remind you what are the steps of long division. Do you remember that mom, sister, brother? Here we have. We divide at the beginning. That is for division. Then we multiplied 1 times 7. Mom is for multiplication. Then sister is for subtraction. We subtract 9 and 7. Then bring down, which is brother, is for bring down. So one more time. Dad, mom, sister, brother. D is for division, M is for multiplication, S is for subtraction, B is for bring down. Okay, we have another one. What about if we have decimal? 0 0.4 times 3 over 8. We can write this 0 0.4 as a fraction. How many decimal places are there? There is only one digit to the right of the decimal point. So I can write this 4 over 10. Why 10? Because 10, it has one zero. And as we said before, 
the number of decimal places should be equal to the number of zeros. Then times 3 over. We can divide by the same number. We can pick 4 and 8 or 4 and 10. What do you prefer? I'm going to prefer 4 and 8. So we have to divide by 4 up and down. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then start to multiply numerators. 1 times 3 is 3. And then multiply the denominators. 10 times 2 is 20. And there is no common factor between 3 and 20. So it's in the simplest form. Another one. 0 0.6 times 0 0.5. We have to rewrite this 0 0.6 as 6 over 10. One decimal place, one zero. And here we have 0 0.5. It has one decimal place, so one zero, which is 10, not 100 or 1,000. Then start to simplify. We can divide 5 and 10 by the same number. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Then we can simplify 6 and 10, but let's do it here. 6 times 1 is 6, and then 20 for 10 times 2. Then divide both of them by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 20 divided by 2 is 10. So the product is 3 over 10. Another one. 2 we have different signs, so it's negative according to the Chinese piece. When we multiply any two signs, we will get the third one. And then 4 times 1 is 4. Here we have negative sign, then 4 divided by 4 is 1. So the product is negative 1. Another one. Two and one third times 0 0.7. We have to rename the mixed number and write the decimal as a fraction. Three times two is six plus one is seven over three. Then here we have decimal points, so it's seven over ten. Then multiply them. Seven times seven is 49. And 3 times 10 is 30. And let me ask you, how many 30 are there in 49? Just 1. And the remainder is 9 minus 0 is 9. Then 4 minus 3 is 1. It's 1 and 19 over 30. That's all about my lesson today. So let me remind what we have studied today. We revised or we studied the multiplying rational numbers. And we divide our lesson to integers. We have to use the Chinese phase and fractions. When we have fractions, we talked about decimals to rewrite it as a fraction and mixed number to write it as an improper fraction. Thank you so much. We see you next time. Bye-bye.